Hello people, the Friends of 32 here again. I hope you enjoy the great 50 episodes I had. Now, a little warning. For your personal info, um, for the next week, this is going to be the last episode that I make, or maybe the next eight days. This is probably going to be the last one that I make for a while. I mean, tell you the truth, I'm tired of making these this often as well. Some of you out there are probably saying, can't this kid stop? Well, don't worry, it's coming to an end tonight. So anyway, on to the games that we're reviewing. We're reviewing the ATV Off-Road Fury games that I own. Now, it is possible that I will get one and three pretty soon. And when I do get them, and once I've played them for a good amount of time, I will review those. But this is as good as I can manage for now. This is ATV Off-Road Fury 2. In ATV Offroad Fury 4. So, yeah, I really like these games, but personally, I like this one better, and I'll tell you why once we get the game started. So, let's get started, shall we? Alright, so this is ATV Offroad Fury 2. I would show a race right now, but I just want to make this as short as possible. I just want to show you something that's really fun. I will at some point show you, but not anytime soon. Much like showing one and three. So I'm doing free ride, and we're going to Arlington Street. <clears throat> I'm going to see if I can do this all in one clip. Yeah, you saw back there, you could change your goggles and stuff. But I'm not going to waste any time doing that. I'm just going to, I'm just going to save that for you to discover. So, it's just that the last clip I made didn't load correctly, and I just want to do this as fast as possible. I don't want to be stuck doing reviews all summer. So, yeah. As you see here, we have this little stumped area back here. So, yeah. That's not even the fun part. Jesus Christ. This is the train. Oh, man. Oh, that was bad. To back up, you push X and square. I don't know why, but anyway, why we want to go on the train? Go to the train? Because we can ride on it, and it's built for ATVs to ride safely. But due to some control errors that wouldn't really work in real life, if it's on a turn while you're trying to ride it, you will somehow be glitched off as if there's some big invisible force pushing you forward. I'm not sure why that happens, but it is just stupid. This car that I just went on, that, that's pretty much the safe spot of the train. But if you fidget around the D-pad enough, then it will... then you will still be glitched off. So as you saw, what I really love to do is, um, I love to ride the train. <clears throat> and look what happens when you go from the other end. Whee! Wow, that was higher than I expected it to be. I never expected it to be that high pitch. And you're pretty much trapped there until the train is completely gone. Wow, I've never been trapped that long. Whee! Alright, so another thing I like to do is go down this dam. I mean, it's nothing too interesting, but it's pretty fun. I'm doing this for fun, so this truly has its purpose. The war, the war doesn't really serve like a force or anything, but you may, you may think it's just there, but it actually does put a little force on you. Ow. Okay, so three minutes went by. Now I'm just going to go on the other dam. You can also ride up that this bench up here and see if you can get by the wheel. But I've never managed it. If there's anybody out there, they'd be a better player than I. If anybody out there can do that, they'd certainly be a better player than I am, I truly admit. 
But here's something weird, and this is for all rooms. I'm going to show you what happens, and many other games, including MX vs. ATV Unleashed, I will plan a review for that soon. I don't have that yet, but once I do get it, I will review it, definitely. But, man, still not past this part. Come on, come on. Horizontally, thank you. I'm going to show you what happens if you go far enough into the room. I also like the soundtrack in this game. So the end of the room is usually encoded by this this dirt hill wall thing. I'm not really sure how else to describe it as. It's pretty steep. But but if you go far enough, you get sent flying back. And revenge of the flickering, dear god. Never mind. So that's what happens if you go that far ahead. MX vs. ATV Unleashed has that as well, but it does this... It does this sound while you're still in the air. However, it was... That one was produced by THQ. This is Sony. And like I... And... And... This game was made exclusively for the PlayStation 2. Well, surprise, surprise, it was made by Sony. And there was another version called ATV Off-Road Pro, I think. Off-Road Fury Pro. And it was made for the PSP, but I don't have a PSP, so it's most likely I won't be redoing that unless I can get an emulator of some sort. But yeah, this is pretty much all the fun stuff I really need to show at Arlington Stream, so I guess just one just one more jump will do it. Oh, I've never I've never tested this out. Doing it under the bridge. I'm oh backwards? I've I've never went backwards. Alright, that's enough of that. So, that's pretty much all there is to show for ATV Offered Fury 2. Stay tuned for Part 2, and I'll be getting to ATV Offered Fury 4. Thanks for watching.